This is the scene that I finally settled on to paint inside the medieval garden where they were growing plants and herbs. What I wanted was a sketch that I could use as a intermediate between what I was looking at and what I wanted to paint. I wanted to get the colours right, I wanted to get the composition right. Lots of time, we had two days in which to paint this, so I was in no rush whatsoever. I arrived in the garden where I wanted to paint and mate is over there painting in acrylics and the young lady over there she's done a nice charcoal drawing not quite sure I think she's going to go in with acrylics looking at her, her paper palettes but me um, I might paint here tomorrow as my main painting but what I want to do today is just done a, a nice full sketch there it is and my original plan was to do that there but both towers were a little bit impeding a little bit probably over so I've done a bit of that tower a bit of that tower and focus this on the well focused on the well and the door. Anyway, I'm going to go in with uh, some watercolours now and video it. So let's see how we go. Oui, bien sûr, c'est pour photo. Il fait chaud, il Ça, c'est mon esquisse. D'accord. Demain, je fais le... Ok, bah, je reviendrai peut-être demain prendre d'autres photos. Donc, 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 donc. Merci. Super. Bonne journée. Voilà. Oh, merci bien. Mm. Lady coming to take photographs for the for the village. Now I hope you can hear me okay. I just will be using three bushes. Mix up a, a nice blue and add to it a little Elysian crimson. in some uh, tile colour mm. Add into that a little bit of blue off my palette out the corner. Okay. That is a, a rosy colour. Yeah. 
and that's a, a nice stone. A nice stone, that's a nice mix. Not very clear. So, I think that's a burnt sienna with a little bit of a red in it. Not too, not too much red. And change that a little bit. Just a little bit of blue in there, just to cool that area down. I'm not sure what about those shadows, I just want that to be a, a bluey, more blue in it. My my problem is I I don't put enough colour down for the first wash. It's not a great problem. Um, and the other problem I have is that uh, I don't go right to the edges with the colour. My first wash. I need to pay a bit more attention to that. stones okay screens in keeping light at the top. A lot, of, a lot of greenery going there afterwards. I'm saving that because that is a, that's a nice olive green. Change down a bush. Yellow into there. And there. Yeah, there's a nice light color. Hint at the wood. These uh, slightly raised beds. Now, here, and I'll take a photograph later, some big red plants. So I'm not going to put them in as such, but I just want to put them in the form of mass. Mm -hmm. As opposed to a massive green. Again, keeping the greens really light. We another final. green covering going on. Once I've done a bit on the background. As I come down I'm just darkening that green a little. I 
in between the two posts. Don't have to be too much detail at the moment. I've still got to do some work underneath behind the um and what for. Right. That dry. Makes myself a nice olive green with yellow ochre and French ultramarine. I really have that light on top where the light is. And then I can do all kinds of things in there. And later some purple's got to go in there to bed this to bed this uh, section down. Oh. Mixing in some yellow ochre with a little bit of burnt sienna. I like this colour one for these buildings. It's a safe, safe colour if you keep it a lot of it, keep it very wet. And I'm at a funny angle, that's a problem for me. This roof is red-blue. You can't really... Well, I don't want to do any individual tile. But I do want to make sure the two colours are well. Represented. It goes down like that. The roof actually curves a little bit, changes direction very, very slightly. Mm. So tomorrow, when I do my main painting. And I've already practiced this. Now there's going to be a shadow under there. I'm not going to put it in just yet. I've still got to get this, this wall colour correct. So I'm adding a little bit of cadmium yellow to my mix. I'm okay because it's not drying too fast. But it is drying. It's not staying wet either. Let me get these colours in. I can go over these shutters because I'll be I'm putting them in a bit harder to promote. I can't I don't want to go over this, this area here. Because that's going to reflect the sunlight. Keep changing the uh, so the dipping first into the, the cadmium yellow part of the mix and then into the red part of the mix. It's 
going with a bit of where it's wet going with again with a bit of pure yellow walker. Here, this this red is the same as that. I'm just going to make it a little, add a little bit of orange to the mix, just to make the two blues different, slightly different. So one will stand out more than the other. I don't know which one yet. I think I think this one will stand out a bit more. But, uh, just placing. Placing these little bits of colour, a bit of purple there, a bit more. And bring that down again a bit more orangey. Look like the light is a bit more on that bottom. This changes the. See, I've got a block of colour. And on this side, I'm really going to put a bit of light. And then into that side, I'm just going to add a little bit of green. Because I'm going to put a tree there. And I want the green and the red to blend in a little bit. Although it is making a bit of a grey. It's putting a, the background foliage. So strange when I put in the rest of the tree. Just gonna work on that area there, which is a very light. It's the same part of this building that I want to put it in. A little bit lighter, even if I have to go in twice. So it looks like it's set back. It's not, but I want it to. Yeah, this top tower I'm going to put in before I paint it in with paint I'm going to paint it in with water so look at the, the door 